Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be taking you through an IBM Watson Discovery Service developer journey. Uh, this journey is available on GitHub at github.com uh, slash IBM slash Watson Discovery News Alerting. Uh, this journey uses the Watson News, uh, Watson Discovery News collection to gain insights into how uh, products are perceived in the marketplace. It also uses the Watson Cloudant uh, NoSQL database service to store user data for emailing uh, alert messages. Um, if you look through the README, uh, we de detail how to set up the application, including uh, what services you need to create, which are these two. Uh, once you've created these services, all you have to do is add the credentials to the local ENV file and start the application. Um, this journey actually consists of two apps. Uh, one is the UI app where users can run the queries on their favorite products, and the other is the tracking or alerting app where you get email alerts about those uh, same products. Both apps are written in Node.js, and let's start with the UI side by bringing that up now. I'm running this locally on port 4391. Um, as I mentioned, this is a Node.js application. Uh, the backend is built on the Express framework, and the UI is rendered using React. Um, this is the main page, and as you can see, there are quite a few ways to research um, on your to do uh, research on your favorite product. Remember, all of these query types will be using the Watson Discovery News Collection. Um, the query types are. One, you can, you can search uh, for news articles that mention your product or your brand. Um, you can also look for news articles uh, about any competing products. Um, you can also just look for uh, positive news articles. And Stock Alerts is, uh, gives articles written by financial analysts about your uh, product. So to start, let's uh, look at uh, from a brand perspective. Um, We'll see what Toyota is up to. So what you see on the left side are the top 10 results sorted by relevance. These are articles related to the Toyota brand. Um, the chart here shows you how many articles it found per day over the last 10 weeks. Um, you could use this to determine the popularity of your product or brand um, and also to look for uh, trends. Um, these two boxes um, show you the actual JSON results uh, that were used to create uh, both the graph and the results. This first one here is for the graph, so it tells you how many articles were found on a given day. And this one just shows you the, the results of uh, all the articles that found with the relevant score. Now let's go back and check out the competition for Toyota. So we'll go back to our main page. Let's go to Related Brands. Again, we'll enter Toyota. So how it determines this, uh, Toyota belongs to a certain taxonomy, which is um, automotive uh, cars. Um, so it looks for similar articles um, that don't uh, talk about Toyota, and it presents them here. Um, and again, we have our, our list of uh, the news articles per day over the last 10 weeks. So let's go back one last time and take a look at the stock market analysis. Click in here. Now you have to enter the stock ticker, which I know for Toyota is TM. So you can see um, relevant analysis by financial experts uh, about the stock itself. Now, if you wanted to track this data, uh, you could simply enter your email address there, select the frequency um, that you'd like to receive the alerts here, and, and click the track button. Uh, that subscription data will be stored in the Watson Cloud and Database. Um, and then the tracking app would then use that database uh, subscription information to fire off alert emails uh, based on this, uh, the user selected frequency. So that's how the tracking part works. So let's go back and take a look at some of the code. I just want to point out a couple of files of interest. Um, in the app, 
directory we have server.js uh, this is the main UI code and where all the the URL routes are defined so these should look familiar um, in the same directory we have notifier.js which is the tracker side of the app so this is the alerting app and you need to run this separately uh, to process email notifications um, and finally If we go into source, Watson, discovery, you can see the actual queries that are used to retrieve the data from the Watson uh, news collection. Um, as you can see, we have a query for each of the product search types. Um, for example, for brand alerts, here is the actual query we're sending in. Uh, these field names come from the, the enriched data as part of the, uh, the Watson news collection. Um, and to learn more about how these these queries are created we have an excellent uh, demo to show this and you can find the link in our readme at the very bottom we have a useful link section and here's that video I was talking about um, this is well worth the time and it goes into detail about how to create those uh, to build those queries to get the data that you really want um, so with that, um, I think I'll wrap up this demo. Hopefully you'll get a chance to download and run this journey on your own. Uh, thanks again for your time.